I just want to make an announcement before I go into the video. I just want to tell everybody that now you can shop Annie Sloan online if you're in United States. They will ship it directly to your house. All you have to do is go to their website, pick colors, and you will have Annie Sloan paid delivered to your home. I know this is a big deal for a lot of people who don't have stockists near them. So this is only for United States now and I will keep you updated as the website keeps growing. Hello everyone, my name is Katja and welcome to my channel. Today we will be doing some layering, blending, dry brushing and just having fun with chalk paint. What I have today here with me is this beautiful, beautiful table. This table is in pretty good shape, except that it's missing a little bit of trimming over here and here. So I will have to recreate that. But other than that, it's a beautiful piece and I'm going to do some layering, dry brushing, blending, who knows what, I have idea and let's see how that goes. Annie Sloan chalk paint is designed to stick to every material. So in most cases, you don't have to prime or sand, but there is one step that you can never skip and that is cleaning your pieces. You must wash it really good so your chalk paint can stick to it and you don't have any problems. For cleaning, I love to use a bucket with hot water and crud cutter pre-paint cleaner TSP substitute, no rinse, so it's amazing. Usually when you use TSP, you will have to wash your piece and then you will have to rinse it off. With this cleaner, all you have to do is clean and it's ready to go, you don't have to rinse it off, so it saves one step and it's very important. So now for this missing trim, the first thing I'm going to do is create a mold using amazing mold putty. And once I have a mold, I'm going to pour this mixture, amazing casting resin into the mold. And when everything is dry, I'm going to glue it. So I got equal parts here from uh, the white and yellow. And now I'm going to mix these two. And you want to mix them really good. You want one solid color. What I love to do is mix it really good, get all the air out, get rid of all wrinkles, make a really uh, make a circle like this. Now that I have a little ball with no wrinkles and no air bubbles, now I can spread it onto this trim. So now I'm just going to place it here. Really try to stick it in there. I think this is looking really good. And now I'm going to leave this for 20 minutes. And here is our mold. And now we are going to pour resin in it and create a trim. And to do that, we just mix equal parts of A and B and we pour it directly into the mold. At first, this will become cloudy, but as you keep stirring it, it will become clear and that's when it's ready to be poured into the mold. Now we have to wait 10 to 15 minutes or when it becomes completely white, that's when we are going to remove it. And now that this is all dry, I'm going to pull it out of the mold comes out very easily and these little things here don't matter because you can just remove them and you got yourself a nice trimming which I'm going to cut and glue it on and you can just cut it to make it a more circle and sand it lightly all this is much easier to do when your mold is fresh So, let's see. 
perfect. I'm using Gorilla Glue for this. I'm going to put it first here. And the rest I'm going to clean all this glue. So now that my table is fixed and clean, I can start with my project. So I got three different shades of purple. They're all beautiful, but I want to all mix them together and create layers and different shading. The first one is Old Violet. And then we got Emily and Paloma. So I will start this project with the darkest one. And that is how I love to layer my colors from the darkest to the lightest. So let's start with Old Violet. I'm going to apply one thick coat of Old Violet and I'm going to kind of create some texture. So here I'm creating the texture by tapping my brush onto the table. It's not thick texture, it's not so much, but just a little bit. As you can see, once you paint over the streaming, you can't even notice the difference. Okay, so now I'm going to start adding more colors and that will be the first Emily. And then I'm going to add Paloma. And I got here a few brushes. I pick the oldest uh, brushes I have, natural bristle uh, brushes, because once they get older, they get tougher. Uh, and for this, I want these kind of brushes. I still have one newer brush with me here in case I need it, but I think I want this to be stiff. So right now I'm layering Emily on top of Old Violet and I'm going to create that uh, old world layered look which is my favorite. I'm tapping here and there. All right. Now I'm going to start adding Paloma using another brush. So I don't like how this brush feels right now. So I'm going to try to use a newer one. And I like that better. So layering and creating old world finish is all about the feeling. Uh, there is no wrong or right. Uh, if you mess up, you can just add another color. Uh, if you want more dark, you add dark. If you want more light, you add more light. Uh, you just have to play with it and have fun and trust the pros. And now I'm grabbing uh, Violet 
the brush that I use for the base color and I'm going to go over some areas. As I said, this is all about layering. As you can see, we already have a beautiful look layered. All colors are mixing on top of each other. It looks very interesting. Uh, it looks like it's so hard to achieve this look, but the truth is that is so easy. So I'm just going now to go back and forth, keep on going. Uh, I feel like I need a little bit more of uh, Paloma, which is the lighter color. So it's all about playing right now. And now I'm adding a little bit of more Emily here and there. And I'm just really having fun. When you're doing this, be very light with the paint. I'm going to show you how much paint I'm using. Each time I tap to get more color, I just get this much. So it's very light don't dip too much you're going to create a big mess so just go light and you're going to get nice and smooth transitions i like how this looks i do like it so we can just move to another section i'm going to do the same process all over again on doors, on each side, and on top. So now my top is done, the top is drying. I'm going to add some dry brushing to this. And for that, I'm using this little brush because this piece is small. If I was working on a large piece, then I will use a bigger brush. I have a little piece of cardboard here and I'm going to get some paint on the brush, a little bit. The paint is getting thick from cold. And once you have paint on the brush, you're going to unload it on the cardboard. Get rid of all the extra and your brush feels almost dry and like nothing is there. But there is something and that is enough to do this beautiful look. Now I'm going to apply clear wax and I'm going to add some black wax to the details. Mm -hmm. 
And now we are going to apply some black wax. But remember, every time you apply black wax, you have to apply clear wax first so you can move your black wax around. And now I'm going over with the cloth to remove all the extra. And you can see here how the black wax gives a nice depth to this piece and richness. And it just looks nicer and aged. And now I'm going to repeat this um, on all details around the table. Since I'm working in section here, uh, I'm going to put gold now after black wax. And for that, I'm using the uh, Rizan with Prima Vintage Gold Wax. And I'm just going over with my finger. Having used gold for a whole month. That looks beautiful. I love gold. Gold makes everything better. And now I'm just going to repeat the process on every uh, leg and every side. And I really love how this is looking. I'm completely done with the bottom of the table, but I still want to do some things to the top. Uh, I left it unwaxed and not protected. Uh, so I have this idea to add this transfer to the tabletop. This one is called a French Specialties. It's a black transfer, simple, uh, comes in three sheets and I'm just going to use two. So this is the bottom and this is the top. This is the middle part that I'm going to put aside and keep for some other project. So first I'm going to put this one. And I'm going to put this on the bottom but I'm going to cut this part out because there is not enough space.
I think this is gorgeous and I love how it looks on this table. So I'm just going to go and put the bottom. Beautiful. Now I'm going to repeat the process that I did on the bottom of the table, which is put clear wax, black wax, and some gold, and we will be all done. I'm so happy how this table is looking. I'm going over the transfer with black wax. I'm just dry brushing it very lightly to add more character. Just a little bit. And we are done with this beautiful table. I love the colors I chose for this. I love purple. I don't really do that much purple as much as I love it. Haven't done gold in a whole month of January and I definitely miss my gold. I love the transfer. I think it's just complete this look. The black wax gives so much depth, character. This is one gorgeous piece of furniture and I am going to keep it for myself. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time with a new project and more ideas. Bye guys.